Space, the last frontier. Well, unless you include time. Or, you know, there's all those other frontiers, like different dimensions. So maybe it's space somewhere in a bunch of frontiers. Hey, you see that? It's Deliria speeding again. Oh, that's going to be a big ticket. I'm on it. <laughs> It's those Zula meddlers. Oh, why do they hound me, Cloyd? Possibly, madam, because you're going five times the speed of light, defying both the laws of Zula and physics. Try and catch me, Zula fists! Now, as I was saying, when we get to the great Zula forest, there's a creature I want you to catch. Uh, creature? Not another giant metal-pinching crab snake? No, not that. A Zulean yak whacker. A yak whacker? But, 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 madam. Come, come, Cloyd. It's only a bird. Fooey, <laughs> <laughs> we lost her. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why is it so cold in here? Okay, okay. I turned the heat down. To save energy. But it appears you may have overdone it. Ah! Hey! My controls are freezing up! I can't steer! Oh! Here, birdie, birdie, birdie! All right, no need to panic. It's just a bird, and I'm the latest in higher technology. <laughs> <laughs> No, you clunk! That's for the bird! Now get out of there this instant! I'm trying, madam! Perfect. Now, I want you to use this bird as a model to create mechanical wings so you can fly. Something that will let you spy on those Zula patrollers from their very own roof. Now, <clears throat> come along, Cloyd. You've got work to do, and bring the bird. Sorry about the bumpy landing, but with the controls freezing up, we'll be safer on the ground. Good idea. After they defrost, we'll take off and track down Deliria. I don't think we've ever been in this part of the forest before. And we've never seen all these creatures before, either. They're all so different. Some have fingers and some have claws. Why is that? That sounds like a question for the Multopedia. <laughs> Let's take Earth, for example. Here, most animals have different body parts, like fingers or claws, to help them do special things, like eat or dig. These body parts are called adaptation. An adaptation is a change. So a part of an animal, like its beak or claws, may change to help it stay alive in the place where it lives. For instance, most birds need to fly. So they need wings. But most snakes, I would say, are better left on the ground. Some creatures have fur to protect them from cold weather, while others have a hard shell to shield them from predators. 
And some creatures have beaks to get at one kind of food, while others have lips to eat another. Hmm, that can't be right. That duck, for instance, uses its webbed feet to help it swim. But if the pond were to dry up, its webbed feet wouldn't be as useful. Right. Here, feet with claws would work much better to grip the branches. The duck would have to adapt to its new environment. Animal adaptations, or changes, take place over many, many years. And by looking at animal adaptations, humans have learned to do new things the way animals do them. Remember those webbed feet? Sort of like swim fins, huh? You're right! And that squirrel's claws, almost like a grappling hook. <laughs> yes! You can climb with both! Wow! I can't wait to explore the Zula Forest. We're sure to find all sorts of adaptations there. So let's get back! <laughs> Well, team, it looks like it's going to take a while for all this ice to melt. So how about doing a little exploring now? I'm bringing a notebook so we can record all the animal adaptations that we see. <laughs> hey, sounds like Gorga found something. Bring it up! An egg! And it's hatching! <laughs> oh my, it's the baby Yak Whacker. Welcome to the world, Yaki! But where's its mother? Yeah. A feather and some robot tracks. <gasps> I'll bet Deliria and Cloyd know the answer to that. That figures. We'd better help Yaki find his mother. This is a job for the Zula Patrol. Excellent. Now, try them on. Uh-huh, madam. Are you sure that me flying is such a good idea? Of course it's a good idea. It was my idea. It's absolutely perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Yaggy. These feathers and Cloyd's robot tracks will lead us right to your mother. And to Deliria. I wonder why he's walking instead of flying. Maybe he doesn't know how to fly. How do creatures learn how to use their adaptations anyway, Molto? I mean, who teaches a baby bird like this how to use its wings? Well, there are some things creatures just know how to do as soon as they're born. Like this little guy knew how to use his beak to peck out of the egg. So does he already know how to use his wings to fly? Yes, but like all babies, he just needs encouragement. So let's encourage him. Come on, Yaki, fly! Flap! Flap, flap, flap! Come on, put them out! Spread your wings! That's it! You can do it! Nice job! I think he's waiting to see you take off! I know I am! Good idea, Gorga! Maybe Birdseed will encourage him! Come and get it! Something tells me this little bird's just not ready to fly. But I believe he is hungry! Perhaps it's the wrong kind of bird seed. Maybe he'd like some fresh fruit. Hmm. Or maybe some tasty vegetables. <laughs> Looks like our feathered friend knows exactly what he'd like to eat. A delicious nut. Yes, but this is a tough nut to crack. <laughs> Not if you've got a nut-cracking beak! A perfect example of an adaptation that helps the creature survive! Hey! Where's Yaki? <laughs> he got scared, so he hid in the bushes. This baby bird may be able to hide, but Deliria can't. Look! Her space limo! Time for action, Zula Patrol! Let's go! <laughs> What are you waiting for, Cloyd? It's time to test your wings! Fly! Fly! Madam, couldn't I just, uh, I don't know, walk, walk? <gasps> the Zula Patrol! Quick! Fly! Scare them away! But, but, madam! Fly! <laughs> I'm flying! I'm flying! I'm... Uh-oh. <laughs> With wings? Wow! He's flying, 
He's flying! He thinks Cloyd is his mother? Shoo! Shoo! Flying is for the birds. No, no, no. Oh, no. Look, he's found his real mother. <laughs> Stop! Come back, you silly birds. I need to study you in order to make a new pair of mechanical wings. Get no. Now, let's see. Speeding in an asteroids-only zone, resisting arrest, bird burglaring, broken taillight... Bye-bye, <laughs> little Yaki! Take care of yourself! Have a good flight! I never thought a bird's adaptations could be used for so many things. And I never thought our frozen pipes would burst. <laughs> our ship is full of water. Now what do we do? We adapt. And so, now that the Zula Patrol has wrapped things up with Deliria, it's time we wrapped up today's adventure. Bye-bye. Hello there, science wizard. It's time for our Malto moment. Now, who can tell me why a bird might have a beak instead of lips? So he can join a beaks-only club? <laughs> Not quite. More likely so he can crack open a nut. Or so he can break out of an egg. Wish I had a beak! We all have our own special adaptations or body parts, which we use for our own special needs. For instance, if I need to end this show, I can use my fingers. Bye-bye <laughs> now.